everybody, welcome back to another Vincent ASMR video. And today we're going to be doing a part two to a video that is, I don't even know how old now, let's see. Uh, it was published on November 2nd. Wow, so that's like, I don't remember December, January, February, March, April. Like, that's like six months or so. Wow, that's crazy. So we're going to be doing rap music facts part two um and yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to like down below um don't forget to comment if you guys want a part three to this video or potentially a you have a suggestion for another series or maybe a part two to something i've already done and obviously don't forget to subscribe we're on our way to 700 subscribers just gonna double check the gain here and Let's get right into it. All right, I'm on dailyrapfacts.com. It gets updated pretty much every day, so. All righty. Jay-Z helped the Roots clear the Radiohead sample on Atonement. I don't really know. I don't really follow the Roots, so no comment on that one. Playboy Cardi's first rap name was Sir Cartier. That's pretty funny. I think I knew that. I've heard that somewhere. Uh, I can't lie. I'm not the biggest Playboy Cardi fan, so I'm going to take the eight there. Um, but yeah, uh, Memphis Bleak passed on the beat for Cameron's Oh Boy. Don't know that. I don't really, uh, obviously I don't follow all rap, um, but yeah, Young Thug coined the term slat. I did know that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he coined, like, quite a few common phrases in hip-hop, or at least popularized them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next we got Josh Gambino recorded parts of Because the Internet on an iPhone, which just seems crazy because the production on that album is immaculate. Um, sorry, guys, it is just so hot out today. I gotta get some water. To turn the fan off just for the uh, just for the video, uh, it's uh, 28 degrees Celsius outside. I don't know how how hot that is in Fahrenheit. Let me look. That's uh, 83 degrees. So yeah, whatever. Um, Eminem recorded parts of the Slim Shady LP while on ecstasy. That didn't surprise me. Um, it's a cool fact, but it doesn't particularly surprise me. <coughs> Mac Miller's older brother. Miller McCormick designed the Divine Vem designed the Divine Feminine cover art. Again, R.I.P. to Mac Miller. Um, guy, obviously, complete legend and everything. Legend of the game. Um, it's pretty cool that his brother designed it. You know, it's cool to like have that family connection. You know, with people that you you make art with. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, man. Sway Lee's unforgettable beat was produced. 
used for Drake. That didn't surprise me. I feel like Drake was doing one dance around that time, so it was that super like boom ta boom ta boom ta boom ta that kind of that kind of vibe. The uh, Latin kind of beats were very in. So yeah, Kendrick Lamar's first rap name was K Dot. Yeah, I, uh, some people still call it that. Um, but yeah, makes fire music. So yeah. <laughs> Rick Ross worked as a correctional officer in the 90s. Wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't really listen to too much of his music, but super, like, talented dude. He's got a lot of, like, he's got a lot of swag. Like, a lot of, yeah, I respect it. Uh, Migos dropped their new song the other day. A lot of these are, like, kind of, like, news facts. So, I'm going to keep you guys updated and give you facts at the same time. Alrighty, let's get to the next page here. Jay-Z recorded an unreleased diss track for Dupac. Damn. Again, R.I.P., man. It's so sad. Um, Common passed on the beat for Kanye West's Everything I Am. And heard him say, wow, two songs. Jeez probably regretting that, but I don't know if he would have done, like, the same thing that Kanye did with them, so, I don't know. It's always like that, like, when people, uh, yeah. Drake is dropping a new album this summer. Uh, as you guys probably know, he released the Dark Lane demo tapes, which weren't anything amazing, but hopefully we can get some fire soon. Uh, Nas dropped out of high school, or dropped out of school in eighth grade crazy. Um, Kanye West claim, claims he wrote All Falls Down in 15 minutes. Jeez, if that's true, that's crazy. That song is so good. Probably like one of my favorites. Um, great track. Uh, Big Sean was the first rapper to perform at the White House. That's so weird. He's so like, it's so, such a random rapper as well. I never felt like he's like an A-list rapper, so personally at least, I don't know. Stuff comes off a bit corny sometimes in my opinion, but because everyone has their uh everyone has their preferences. Kanye West says twenty percent of Jesus was Jesus' king was recorded on an iPhone. That seems to be a common theme here. Surprisingly, I don't know, with all that studio equipment, I guess you don't really need it to make Good music. Um, Drake's Views was the highest rap was the highest selling rap album of 2016. That didn't surprise me at all. Drake is just so accessible. Like everyone, everyone can like vibe to Drake and everything. So it's uh, yeah. I don't know. Doesn't surprise me. Oh, there's a whole article about Travis Scott's Fortnite stream. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it. I think he, I think Travis Scott partnered with Fortnite and did like a virtual concert uh, where he was like a giant uh, hologram kind of thing of Travis Scott, essentially just a giant Travis Scott character. Pretty cool. Um, I don't play Fortnite personally, but um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, what else we got? What else we got? The extra R in Nelly's hot in here was to emphasize that it is really hot. <laughs> I... <laughs> that's such a useless fact. Um, a lot of them are about people kept passing for beats that Kanye eventually used. So people probably either regretting that or being like, oh, whatever. Mac Miller's first rap name was Easy Mac. I'm glad he changed it. Obviously, it's like, it's one of those things where you wouldn't, like, if he stayed it as Easy Mac, then you wouldn't really be like, oh, he should be called Mac Miller, but I don't know, it's just still like, just still sounds better for some reason. I don't know. In my opinion, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Alright, what else we got? Kanye 
artists. The College Dropout was the first hip-hop album Chance the Rapper ever bought. Cool, cool, cool. The baby's first rap name was Baby Jesus. Nicki Minaj worked at a couple of Red Lobster restaurants before fame. That's funny. Tyler the Creator worked at FedEx and Starbucks before fame. I think that's really interesting. I think it gives a lot of, like, uh, young artists, or maybe, like, just, um, not necessarily young artists, but just people that want to get into rap or just into music in general. It gives them a lot of hope, I think. But, yeah. Um, Travis Scott's 3500 was originally for Kanye West's The Life of Pablo album. Whoa, that's crazy. That's a great song. If you guys don't know that song, I'd definitely go check it out. That song is fire. Um, Drake's Find Your Love was originally written for Rihanna. That didn't really surprise me. She was popping back then, like 2010. That was when, um, forgetting what she had out then. That was like towards the beginning, I feel like, of all of her stuff. Maybe like Umbrella and stuff. Maybe that was later. I don't know. Uh, Frank Ocean named Nostalgia Ultra five minutes before it was mastered. See, that doesn't really surprise. I don't know. I don't know when people, people don't name tracks before they start them, but they typically don't name them at the very end. So like somewhere in the middle, I guess mastered is pretty much towards the end, but Whatever, that doesn't seem crazy to me, but that's just my opinion, of course. A Lupe Fiasco has a black belt in karate. That's so random. I don't know what he's doing now, actually. Lupe Fiasco. He used to be so big. But yeah. Eminem is the first rapper to have ten consecutive number one albums. Jeez, respect. You know, I've been... I was... A definitely more into Eminem, I don't know how many years ago, more when I was growing up, um, but I think it's also because he was making better music, it feels a little stale now in my opinion, but the whole like fast rap thing is a little dead, and I don't feel like he's like grown from it too well, personally, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just my opinion, but What else we got? A lot of these are just kind of like boring, so I'm not reading them. Just might just be uh, cause I don't find them that interesting. All right. Post Malone got his name, his rap name from a Wu Tang name generator. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Fifty Cent voiced a Navy Seal in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I didn't even know that. Kanye West gave Lil Wayne 20 beats for the Carter 3. Didn't know that either. Um, Chief Keef self-produced his hit song, Finito. Damn, fair play. I kind of respect that, you know, when people produce stuff themselves. Um. Kanye West lived in China for a year. Didn't know that either. These are pretty cool. Jake Drake was under the influence of marijuana during his audition for Degrassi. I feel like a lot of people don't know that Drake was in Degrassi before he like was big in music. It's pretty funny. I don't know. Pharrell was fired from three different McDonald's as a kid. I'm guessing they mean as like a teenager. It's pretty funny. Offset was a backup dancer for Whitney Houston. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Um, Kanye West wrote a T-Pain diss while they were working together on 808s and Heartbreak. Oof, that's kind of messed up, you know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, what else we got? Roddy Rich's. Roddy Rich recorded the box at 6 a.m. in New York City. It's cool. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. 
Drake's favorite album of his was Nothing Was the Same. Fair play, that's cool. You know, I like when artists say what their favorite album is, and it's not their most recent project. I feel like it's easy to say it's your most recent project, you know. That's cool. It took Kendrick six months to finish the project. All right. Wow, that's crazy. Six months on one song. I mean, that song bangs, to be fair, but... Um, Kendrick Lamar told a then, a then 12-year-old Roddy Rich that he was going to be something. That's cool. Outcast was booed after winning Best New Rap Group at the 1995 Source Awards. Damn. That's crazy. Uh, Eminem coined the term Stan. Yeah, obviously with that, with that song, that song was huge. Uh, Post Malone learned to play guitar by playing Guitar Hero. Yeah, I knew that. It's pretty funny. Guitar Hero used to be a great game. Played that a ton when I was when I was younger. Um, Drake graduated high school at 25. <laughs> what? Who cares at that point? Um, the beat for Humble was originally for Gucci Mane. Kendrick Lamar is Humble, by the way. That's crazy. The bear on the cover of Kanye West's first three albums was named Dropout. Yeah, I knew that one. Um, Steve Lacey produced Kendrick Lamar's Pride song, or his song Pride, on his iPhone 6. Yeah, Steve Lacey produces a ton on his, on his iPhone, which is crazy. Um. Fair play, fair play. Eminem created his alter ego Slim Shady while sitting on the toilet. What? <laughs> That's pretty funny. What? Lil Wayne shot himself in the chest at the age of 12. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. What? when you're 12 alright and we'll end on this one Kanye West made Pusha D rewrite his runaway verse four times that is rough four times I mean already once is rough but four times and you know I guess that's what makes runaway one of Kanye's best songs if not his best song um, and yeah, guys, that's gonna, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to like this video. If you guys want to see, uh, part three, then don't forget to comment down below. A lot of you probably not, weren't even subscribed to this channel, uh, when part one came out. So if you want to go watch part one, go feel free. Uh, comment down below if you guys want to see any other videos in the future. And obviously don't forget to subscribe. We are on our way to 700, that's right, 700 subscribers. And um, I will catch you guys next time. See ya.